Good afternoon everybody. I'm in my cab in London and uh, like you all, I've been engulfed by the Kurt Zuma cat kicking and cat ABH scandal that has uh, truly taken over the media today. Quite rightly. Not condoning it at all and I never will. Um, just a little bit of my take on it really. Um, he deserves punishment. He deserves to probably be fined and he probably will be banned by the club. Uh, if they don't ban him, then I'm sure there'll be ramifications from certain sections of the fan base. And whilst it'd be a massive loss to lose him for one, two, three, four games at whatever it is they see fit, <coughs> I suppose it's something they've got to do. Um, now... The problem is now is that it's 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 increased in the sanctions that people are talking about, uh, the sanctions that people are expect, the punishment, if you like. Um, I've been listening to all sorts of different media, reading things on social media, listening to the radio, um, and what surprises me massively um, is the punishment that some people are asking for. The punishment that some people expect or should that they expect should take place. Um, I was listening to Talk Sport earlier and ex England Liverpool and Wigan goalkeeper Chris Kirkland, who himself um, actually, you know, deals with mental health in football. He's a spokesperson or he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's, he's involved in some sort of charity work there. He actually said that Zuma's career, not just for West Ham, but in this country, should be over. Now, that really, that really angered me, if I'm honest with you. And again, I'm not trying to sweep under the carpet what Zuma's done. It's absolutely disgusting what he's done. And that's coming from somebody who genuinely has a fear of cats, right? I can still, even though I have a fear of cats, I can still see how disgusting it is what he did last night or whenever it was or what was broken last night however to call for a man's career to be over with on the basis of that on the back of that I think is ridiculous and the reason I think that is is because we've got to look at how society works now in society we offer everybody redemption don't we um and if you look at some footballers who have now retired, who are still playing, there are footballers out there who have done far, far worse heinous crimes. There are footballers out there that have been in prison that still have the chance to resurrect their career and still have their chance of redemption. Now, I understand that we are a nation of animal lovers, and that's fantastic. I love dogs. I love animals. I don't love cats. I don't hate cats. I just have a genuine phobia. Okay? But to suggest that this man's career should now definitely be over, I think is ridiculous. And Chris Kirkland, in my opinion, should be ashamed of himself because he, he deals with mental health in football. And yet he's calling for his career to be over, which in turn could create Kurt Zuma's own case of mental health. Not getting away from the fact what Kurt Zuma did, okay? Not papering over the cracks, and I'm not trying to condone and or justify it. However, we have to be careful. We as a society forgive. We as a society offer redemption. What Zuma did was cowardly and was bullying of a defenceless animal. I get that, and it's disgusting. I get that, and I agree. However... We've got to be a bit more or less hasty. If we go down this road, then there's many, many players, past and present, who would not or would not have carried on a career. I won't name names of players, but I'm sure we can all name some players off the top of our head that have been in prison, been arrested, and have continued or have resurrected their career at a later stage. Um... I also often question footballers in general about how they think the things they do will be perceived by the public. And what I mean by that is, if he's hitting his cat and kicking his cat like we've seen, what part of him 
Or what part of his brother thinks it's acceptable or feasible to record it and share it on some platform on social media or share it with friends and or relatives knowing that things can, can and will be leaked okay so i don't know how this video got leaked i don't know who leaked it but the question always lies with me how stupid are these footballers they they are you know I'm 42, right? Zuma's in his mid to late 20s. He's grown up with social media far more than me. And yet I know the implications and, if you like, the dangers of social media and or phones and Apple phones and iPhones recording everything you do. So when do these footballers stop and think, oh dear, I better stop what I'm doing. Someone might be filming me. Or actually don't film me, mate. Because if it gets out there in the real world, my career will be questioned and or over. A football is stupid. I don't know. But what I will say is this. Nothing, he says, will be able to sweep under the carpet what Zuma has done to a poor defenceless animal. Okay? However, for us to call, or not us, but some of us, be it West Ham fans, be it other sections of fans, be it other members of society, to call for his career to be over is bordering on, I suppose, bordering on being over the top, okay? And that's purely because we offer redemption to all. And just because he's a football player, as we've seen in the past, and just because it's a defenceless animal, we still have to give him the opportunity. We don't know if he's done it before, we can't guess. People are saying that he's definitely done it before. We don't know, okay? You can't tell. There's no proof either way. However, he needs the chance of redemption. He will be fined wages. And some people say, well, two weeks' wages is nothing to a millionaire. Um, maybe so. That money will go to the RSPCA or some other animal charity. However, banning him from playing a couple of games will probably be the moral thing to do but to question his whole career at West Ham and in England and football in general I think is a little bit too far that's just my opinion on it I'm not um, I'm not a governing body of any sorts of course um, and again please don't think for any moment that I'm trying to condone what he's done uh, with that cat it's disgusting okay um so yeah, thanks for listening. I hope I haven't caused any problems or uh, caused anyone to dislike what I've said. You can obviously all disagree, uh, but that's just my take on it.